the development of sports infrastructure will raise the standards of the game in the country. This is the message by boxing stakeholders who have initiated a program that will see both the upcoming and established boxers getting an opportunity to train for free in one of the Nairobi Uptown facilities. AV Fitness Manager Felix Akendo explains. Boxers have really benefited because we are not charging them anything. They're enjoying the equipment, the facility for free. So, and you know as a boxer, your fitness level has to complement your skills. So it's, it's good for you to work out under proper guidance of a qualified boxing coach, as well as good equipment and facilities, so that your skills and your, your, skills and your fitness level are at par, which in turn gives you proper or good outcome. There has been an outcry over poor state of boxing facilities in Kenya with calls to relevant agencies to address the same being unfruitful. But according to Coach Roy Kwavi, well-equipped facilities in place will enable the restoration of the lost glory of the sport. Um, as a coach, um, if we continue working hard, that is training these young guys into boxing, uh, beginning from the grassroots, we can reach them. Well, I'd like to appreciate Ken Track. Uh, he has given many, many boxers, uh, those who are less privileged, to come and train to a modern facility like this one. Here, there is everything. Everything that you can find in gym in London, it is here. So uh, it's, I don't see, I don't see why we cannot improve if uh, this kind of facility is put in every county, at least two, at least we will go somewhere. The government has on several occasions pledged to fast-track the completion of renovation of existing and construction of new facilities such as social halls, arenas, gyms, in order to give boxers an opportunity to train and fight in the serene environment, an initiative Akendo believes can enhance the growth of the indoor game. It's up to the relevant federations and also the government to take part and do their, their, to, to play their part. So that's why we are, we are actually unable to compete with other countries who have proper facilities. Because for you to participate with other people who are preparing well, you have to be at par with them in terms of preparations. And that calls for proper facilities and equipment. So I think the government needs to pull up their socks. We need, sponsors need to come in and chip in in such initiatives so that we can help our youth who are actually talented in boxing. But since they have nowhere to prepare well, you find those talents being wasted. Kickboxing, which is a related discipline that people looking for high intensity exercise with a variation of movements and the one that required focus settle for, has also seen enthusiasts visiting the gym for enhancement of their fitness levels. Coach Admit Barji revealed to us how it is significantly picking up in Kenya. Muay Thai, which is the Thai national sport, it's picking up a lot here in Nairobi. A lot more people are familiar with it and want to train for it. And they're also familiar with the competitive side of it. So they watch a lot of international fights. So I think there is a lot of interest is building up here in Nairobi. There's a, bit, a lot more awareness now. People understand the sport. They understand that it is also quite different from the Western style of kickboxing. Because you have kickboxing, the more Western style, and you have Muay Thai, which is the Thai style. So the rules are a bit different, and the style is quite different um, in terms of what you can use, in terms of elbows, knees, it's quite different from, from Western style of kickboxing. The Facility Proprietor and Boxing Federation of Kenya Nairobi branch chair Kennedy Otieno, also known as Kentrak, has been passionate about the sport in the country with his focus being coming up with the strategies to advocate for the welfare of the pugilists. <laughs> So that is why I need to step in. I need to say, at least, I need to be a boxing. I don't want to be a driver, but I'm a driver. So I just want to be a driver. Okay, number one, what I want to do in boxing, I want to be a boxer. 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 I'm a boxer, I couldn't have recognize Because I'm a boxer. Where are you? 
unadhani enda upali game unipe kitu hizo vitu nataka tu at least to cut a shortcut since the program started there has been much improvement not only in the fitness and conditioning aspect of the athletes but also the hygienic and health living of the sportsmen the key aspect is to have them supplement what they are losing in the gym so we basically make for them some detox drinks some immune boosters and we also sell supplements for them we have expertise in uh, making the fresh juices we have expertise in making the protein shakes and the and the other healthy drinks that they need av fitness remains committed towards engaging youth constructively while giving them an outlet to make a living away from crime my name is Maxwell Wasik.